Okay, so of course, uh, again, uh, good evening, everyone. So we will discuss uh, the, uh, of course, criminal detection or crime detection and investigation or CDI. Uh, and of course, uh, we already done with uh, criminal law, the uh, law enforcement administration or LEA, and of course, the uh, uh, correctional administration. So tatlong area na lang. So madali na lang natin to matapos actually. Okay, so ang um, CDI, of course, uh, yan yung isang subject. Now, of course, pinakamaraming coverage. Of course, we will uh, explain it uh, simplified, yung pinaka-basic pagdating sa board exam. Okay, so uh, yung ating uh, crime detection and investigation. Okay, so dito tayo. Okay, of course, ito yung uh, coverage ng CDI class. Kung titingnan ninyo, that is uh, 20% of the uh, total calculation of your grades as well, di ba? So, of course, uh, fundamentals of criminal investigation and intelligence uh, with legal medicine, interrogation and interview, traffic management, fire protection and arson, twice and drug uh, education and control, technical English, and of course, yung uh, cybercrime and environmental laws, okay? So, of course, naka-simplify yung ating... Uh, discussion when it comes to CDI para mas mabilis ninyo or madali ninyo maunawaan. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so question number one. Okay, dito tayo ah. Uh, question number one. So, is investigation a science or an art? Again, number one. Okay, so before tayo mag-start ng ating uh, discussion proper, is investigation a science or an art? Okay, on the comment section class, please uh, answer the comment section. But with everything that we want, we wanted to keep this platform to reach out to people. Okay, is investigation a science or an art? So, yeah, class, uh, I need your participation dito. Okay, so, hindi, pumili kayo between uh, science. Science ba yan or art? Ay, sorry, balik-balik. Okay, na push natin. Again, question number one is investigation a science or an art? Okay, so what is your answer? Balik natin. Bakit walang sumasagot? Sana kayo? So is investigation a science or an art? Bakit tayo? Hmm. Both science and an art. Science and art. Okay. Uh, of course, isa lang yung piliin niya, class. Mm -hmm. Ano dan? Between science or an art. Science ba ang investigation or art ang ating tinatawag na investigation? Sige, on the comment section. Okay, of course, ang sagot natin dyan, class, pag sinabi natin is investigation na science or an art, of course, ang sagot natin dyan, class, it is an art. So that's why, di ba? The art of crime deduction. So that's why, ibig sabihin yan, class, ang uh, investigation is not uh, based on science, but it is based on art. Kasi, class, ang uh, successful investigation or ang successful, successful any investigative uh, duties or activities it lies on the art. Okay, ibig sabihin, ano yung ibig sabihin ng art, sir? Ibig sabihin, it lies on the uh, detail or yung detalya na tinatawag natin class ng investigator, di ba? yung investigator natin. Okay, so kailan magiging uh, science ang tinatawag natin ng investigation? Of course, class, kapag gagamitan na natin ng mga, mga tools or yung mga criminalistic science on uh, in, on solving yung mga criminalities uh, natin. So that's why uh, when it comes sa CDI class, pag tananong sa board exam, is investigation a science or an art? Of course, ang sagot nyo dyan, it is an art. Okay, so it lies or it depends on the expertise of the prosecutor of the uh, investigator class on how to solve a particular crime. Okay, kahit halimbawa sa crime scene or yung tanatawag na din na locus criminis, wala talagang uh, natagpuan doon sa crime scene or dalo, sa locus criminis ng any articles uh, related to the crime. Of course, class, 
uh, hindi naman pwedeng sabihin na investigator or investigator na wala na, failure na yung ating investigation. May mahahanap at mahahanap pa rin kapag ikaw yung isang magaling na investigator, of course, di ba? May makikita at makikita ka pa rin na masasabi natin or uh, magpapatunay na, of course, na nakumit niya talaga yung criminality. Kaya that's why, class, kapag tinanong, is an investigation, a science, or an art? Ang sagot dyan, that is an art. Okay? Nakuha ninyo, class? Nasundan ba ninyo? Nasundan ba? Okay. So, okay, again, ang sagot natin dyan, that is an art. Okay. So, another example or another uh, sub-question. Okay. DNA stands for, okay, ano ibig sabihin, class, ng tinatawag natin na DNA? Okay, DNA stands for what is our answer sa comment section? Okay, of course, ang DNA, that is uh, deoxyribonucleic acid. Okay, very good. So, majority of you got the correct answer. Okay, deoxyribonucleic acid. Of course, that is spelled out as uh, D-E-D-O-X-Y-R-I-B-O-N-U-C-L-E-I-C. -E -E of course, acid. Okay, yan yung tinatawag natin na DNA. Okay, uh, first question, pakibasa nga si uh, Binuya Hana. Dinig po ba, sir? Ah, uh, yes. The most indispensable method of personal identification, A, dactyloscopy, B, fingerprint, C, bacterial system, D, DNA, DNA profiling. Okay. Sige, class. On the comment section, the most indispensable method of personal identification. Uh, pag sinabi natin most indispensable, class, ibig sabihin, the result of that particular science is uh, beyond question. Ibig sabihin, hindi mo pwedeng question. So, what is our answer? Sa comment section class, please maximize ang comment section. So, ilagay nyo, dactyloscopy ba yan? Fingerprint? Uh, Bertillion system? Or DNA profiling? Hmm, the most indispensable method of personal identification. Okay, yung 60 na participants ah, natin, you know, pakiasagot class. Okay, bakit may uh, iba-iba ang sagot ninyo? May DNA, merong dactyloscopy, and so on. So actually na ilang times na ito na sa board exam at sa mga live ko or sa aking mga, uh, mga klase, of course, natanong ko na rin to. Okay, ang sagot natin dyan, class, of course, that is uh, the, uh, of course, no, no, the most indispensable method of personal identification class, that is DNA profiling. Okay, that is letter D, ah. ang sagot natin dyan, that is letter D. Okay, nagkamali lang paglagay ng underline. Okay, mamaya explain natin bakit DNA profiling ang sagot natin dito. Okay, so on the next slide, dito tayo. Okay, explain na natin, class. Okay, so kung titingnan ninyo, meron tayong tinatawag dito the fundamentals of criminal investigation and intelligence, of course, uh, we have the three key sciences of personal identification that is based on scientific. So that's why we have the uh, two tables here, the sciences and, of course, the methods. Uh, take note, class, for the things of board exam, magkaiba ang science at tinatawag natin na methods. Okay? Magkaiba ang science at tinatawag natin na the methods. Okay? So... Um, Pag sinabi natin uh, anthropometry, of course, that is the uh, the first uh, science of personal identification uh, based on body measurement, of course, by Alphonse Bertillon. And of course, the method, of course, the uh, Bertillon system or Bertillonay system. 
Okay, again, so nakalagay yan yung tinatawag natin na uh, science. Of course, that is uh, anthropometry. So sinasabi ni Art Alphonse Bertillon that within a span of 20 years, hindi ito nagbabago or uh, hindi nagbabago yung when it comes sa, sa length or sa mga bones sa isang tao. So that is the first class, uh, the first science of personal identification. Okay? And of course, uh, we have the uh, dactyloscopy. Okay, ang science na class, dactyloscopy, ang methods niya naman, that is fingerprint. Of course, di ba, pag sinabi natin dactyl, that is uh, finger, while ang scopy or scopian, of course, that is uh, examination. That's why ang dactyloscopy, that is uh, basically the fingerprint examination. Okay, ang dactyloscopy, of course, that is authored, of course, na inaintroduce sa atin ni uh, Sir Edward uh, Richard Henry. While, of course, ang uh, pag sinabi natin ang anthropometry, that is the first science or the first method of personal identification, while ang dactyloscopy naman class, that is the most reliable science or the most reliable method or the most reliable science rather of personal identification, wherein ang method niya class is fingerprint. Diba? Pag sinabi natin fingerprint, that is impression. Okay, so ang fingerprint, of course, that is the most reliable method of personal identification. Pag sinabi naman nating DNA or yung tinatawag natin na di deoxyribonucleic acid, of course, uh, tinatawag rin natin yan na uh, DNA profiling when it comes to methods. Of course, na-introduce yan ni Dr. Alec Jeffreys, wherein yung uh, DNA class that is the uh, current or the most indispensable science of personal identification wherein the result of the DNA is beyond question. Ibig sabihin, hindi ko pwedeng question ang result ng DNA. Kasi of course, uh, 100% accurate yung DNA pag sinabi niyang uh, mag-ama kayo or mag-ina uh, kayo, that is correct, 100%. Okay, that's why it is the most uh, current, of course, and of course, the, the most indispensable science of personal identification. So again, as a summary, pag sinabi natin anthropometry, that is the first science of personal identification based on the body measurement. While naman ang dactyloscopy, that is the most reliable science of personal identification. Of course, reliable kasi di ba? Uh, because yung tinatawag natin na yung West case, yung dalawang uh, negro, di ba? Uh, dahil doon, okay, na-debunk yung credibility class ng anthropometry system. Okay, then of course, we have the DNA or the DNA profiling or the DNA fingerprinting na na-introduce sa atin ni Dr. Alec Jeffries wherein it is the current and the most indispensable science of personal identification wherein the result of the DNA is beyond question. Okay? Uh, nasundan ninyo, class? Nasundan ba? Nasundan ninyo? Yes, sir. Okay, okay so yan. Nandito ba si Kaisa? Kamusta ang Baguio, Kaisa? Malamig di ba ngayon sa Baguio? Nasa 17 or 16? Okay, so ayan. So, of course, class, di ba? Um, okay, kapag tinanong class, what is, ah, sige, uh, itest ko nga kung nalam or na, nasundan ninyo yung discussion natin. Okay, pag tinanong sa board exam, what is the most reliable method of personal identification. Again, what is the most reliable method of personal identification? Sige, on the comment section, class. The most reliable method of personal identification. Okay. So, very good. Ang sagot natin dyan, that is uh, uh, fingerprint. Okay, very good. Okay, how about naman class, pag sinabi natin or kapag tinanong sa board exam, what is the most uh, indispensable method of personal identification? Again, what is the most indispensable method of personal identification? Sige. Of course, that is uh, DNA profiling or the DNA fingerprinting. Okay, how about naman class, what is the first uh, science of personal identification. Again, what is the first uh, science of personal identification? Okay, so what is the first science of personal identification? Okay. 
Okay, how about what is the uh, the most uh, reliable? Okay, what is the most reliable science of personal identification? Again, what is the most reliable science of personal identification class? What is your answer? Okay, so the most reliable science of personal identification, of course, that is uh, the dactyloscopy. Okay, very good. So meaning na nasundan ninyo or nakuha ninyo yung ating uh, discussion. So yan. Yan yung three key sciences of personal identification. Uh, of course, that is um, nakabase yan, of course, scientifically. Okay, so yan. Okay, so next tayo. Okay, pakibasa after kay uh, sino yan? Si Binuya, no? Dito next sa atin si uh, Florent, uh, Gazer Jones, Florento. Yes, sir. The first, the first science of personal identification A, DNA, B, fingerprint, C, um, anthropometry, D, vertical system. Okay, sige, thank you. So the first uh, science of personal identification class, uh, what is that first science? Okay, of course, pag sinabi natin first uh, science of personal identification, of course, that is anthropometry. Okay, so that is uh, letter C. Okay, letter C ang sagot natin dyan. <clears throat> okay, so I hope it's clear. Okay, next tayo. Okay, of course, we have, kung meron tayong system of personal identification, meron din tayong principle of personal identification. So, ang principle of personal identification class, nag-iisa lang yan. So we have the principle of multiplicity of evidence. Ibig sabihin, the more similarities or uh, the and differences na tinatawag natin, of course, there is a greater possibilities to make a conclusion. Again, uh, only one yung tinatawag natin class na principle of multiplicity of evidence. Ibig sabihin, the more similarities and differences, the greater possibilities to make a conclusion. Of course, di ba, kapag halimbawa, when it comes sa uh, identification of a person, okay, the more similarities class, o hindi ka lang pwede kasing sanabi na, ay, yan yung damit niya nung nawala siya. Okay, hindi mo alam. Yung damit na yan is uh, may kapareha. Halimbawa, lalo na yung mga, yung bench or pen shop or any other brands, di ba? So, of course, dapat maghanap ka pa ng uh, different uh, similarities and differences before mo masabi na siya talaga yung particular person na yan. Okay? Yan yung tanatawag natin class na principle of multiplicity of evidence. Uh, the more similarities and differences, there is a greater chance or the, there is a greater possibilities to make a conclusion na masasabi mo na siya talaga yan. Hindi ka nagkamali. Kasi of course, dumaan yan sa thorough uh, examination. Of course, diba? Tingnan mo yung similarities and differences ng uh, different uh, evidence na meron tayo. Okay? So, yan. Uh, CDI po ba area natin yun, sir, or forensic? CDI tayo, CDI. Okay. So, dapat class, of course, alam mo, uh, baka nagtaka kayo class na merong uh, ang discussion sa CDI and forensic. Similar, may similarities yan, class. Nakuha niyo? Okay? That's why, di ba, kapag magaling ka sa CDI, magaling ka rin sa criminalistic, okay? So, or yung tinatawag natin na forensic science. Okay, so yan. Okay, next tayo. Okay, so again, what is physical evidence, class? Again, what is physical evidence? Of course, pag sinabi natin physical evidence, tandaan niyo saan ba ginagamit natin na area ang term na physical evidence? Again, anong area lang gagamitin ang physical evidence on the comment section? Okay, sa, sa, sa anong area lang natin pwedeng gamitin ang physical evidence class? Saan ba? Mm -hmm. Okay, class, saan natin, saan natin gagamitin ang physical evidence? Okay, sa CDI and of course, forensic science. Okay, di ba? Sa CDI and forensic science. So saan naman natin gagamitin class ang term na object evidence? Object evidence. Okay? Saan naman natin ginagamit ang object evidence? Of course, that is in CLJ naman. Okay, di ba? 
So yan yung tinatawag natin. Of course, di ba? Uh, kaya nagtataka kayo ha. Kaya bakit hindi ginagamit yung term na object evidence in uh, in the uh, CDI and uh, forensic science subjects. Okay? Ang ginagamit natin class is physical evidence. Same as true, hindi natin pwede gamitin ang physical evidence kapag ang subject natin is criminal law. Okay? So I hope it's clear class ha. Kasi ang uh, forensic science and CDI connected yan silang dalawa. Okay, pag sinabi natin uh, physical evidence, of course, that is uh, any uh, substance or articles that is found in the crime scene. Okay, yan yung tinatawag natin ng physical evidence. Okay, what is the Latin class for crime scene? Sige, on the comment section, what is the Latin for crime scene? Ano, ano yung Latin word class pag sinabi natin crime scene? Okay, very good. Ang gagaling ng mga student ko. Of course, that is uh, locus criminis. Yan yung Latin class for crime scene. Okay? So, of course, uh, any substance, articles, or things that is found in the crime scene or the locus criminis, tinatawag natin yung class na physical evidence. Of course, halimbawa, uh, the dead body. Of course, that is a uh, physical evidence as well. Of course, class, ang uh, physical evidence that is uh, known as an impeachable witness. Kapag tanong sa morning sama, it is known as an impeachable witness because it does not lie or nor bias or uh, favoring others. Yan yung tanatawag natin na physical evidence, di ba? Then, of course, meron tayong tanatawag na uh, ang physical evidence class that is the highest order of evidence, okay? Kapag sa physical Uh, kapag sa CDI or criminalistic science or forensic science ang tinatakaw ninyo. So that is the highest order of evidence. Of course, uh, sinasabi natin na it is the uh, unimpeachable witness because uh, it is an aid. Tulong natin yan class in establishing a crime who committed a crime. Okay, ano yung nangyaring krimen? Because of course, ang physical evidence Uh, can be removed. Okay, yung expert witness, pwede magsinungalingin siya class. Okay, maybe lie or maybe bias may kinikilingan. While ang documentary evidence may be changed or alter, pwede mabawasan, pwede madagdagan. But the object of interest, yung tinatawa natin na physical evidence in any forensic or criminal investigation class, yung physical evidence, hindi yan siya mga hindi niyan mababayaran, hindi yan ma-change kasi it can or it is an aid of every investigator class in establishing or in successfully dissecting yung crime na nangyari. So again, pag sinabi natin physical evidence, it is uh, any object or any uh, articles or any things uh, that is found in the crime scene or the locus criminis. And it is uh, known as an impeachable witness and it, of course, it is the highest order of evidence kasi of course it can lie it cannot lie it cannot be removed or it cannot be changed or it cannot be altered walang biases or hindi magsisino ka lang that's why ang um, physical evidence that is the object of interest or the main focus in forensic criminalistics or investigative uh, activities natin so that is uh, physical evidence natin nasundan ninyo? nasundan ba ninyo class? nasundan? okay so yan Okay, so uh, ang uh, ang CDI kasi na subject class or ang CDI kasi na area, yan talaga yung mas uh, malapit sa ano ko, sa, sa puso. Okay. Uh, of course, lahat naman ang area. Pero kapag ang physical evidence kasi class, kahit, kahit nakapikit siguro ako, kaya kong ituro yan. Kasi yan yung first ko na parang, ano yan, parang gusto kong i-expert dati. Okay. But of course, um, kasi ma maraming demand. Okay, nag-CLJ, of course, uh, Leia, Okay, sa criminology, nakali ay, para na ano palagi, para na, hindi ko na, na ano, naturo ulit ang uh, CDI. Kaya, of course, na-miss natin ang CDI. Okay, next tayo. Okay, so ang kinds of physical evidence class, tatlo yan. Of course, we have the corpus delicti. Of course, pag sinabi natin corpus delicti class, dalawa yung definition ng corpus delicti. Bakit masyadong, uh, ano to, bak bakit masyadong blue? Okay, so may i-check na natin. So again, pag sinabi natin corpus delicti, kapag literal ang definition niya class, it means it is the body of crime or it is uh, word by word. Di ba? Pag sinabi natin, uh, pag, pag sinabi natin corpus, okay? So habeas corpus, body, di ba? Uh, delicti, ibig sabihin crime. Okay, so that's why uh, literally, pag na lang sa board exam, what is the literal definition of 
uh, corpus delicti, of course, the based body of the crime. So meaning class, ang corpus delicti is uh, any evidence to prove that the crime exists. Okay, anong example ng uh, corpus delicti or ano ba, yung dead body or yung corpse, yung dead, uh, yung deceased uh, person. So that is a corpus delicti to establish that there is a crime na nangyari. Ano ba, uh, that whether it is a homicide case or murder case and so on. Then of course, we have the associative evidence. Sandaan nyo ang associative evidence class. It will link, of course, yung, uh, the suspect. Okay, So it will link class kung sino yung tinatawag natin na uh, possible naging suspect sa crime. So ang tanda nyo lang dyan is uh, link. Okay, tanda nyo lang na acronym class. Ali, associative link. Okay, so halimbawa, yung mga wallet, mga clothing na naiwan sa crime scene, it will uh, uh, eventually link, of course, yung tinatawag na na suspect sa crime. Or hindi ba siya maging suspect, uh, baka present siya during the commission of the crime. Then, of course, we have the tracing evidence. Ang tracing evidence class, we have locate. Okay, so to locate the suspect. Okay, halimbawa, yung naiwan niya na fingerprint, hindi niya na malayan na may fingerprint pala siya naiwan, whether it is uh, not visible. Okay, of course, class, gagamitan natin na yan ang process para to make it uh, visible sa investigator. Then, of course, the blood, the saliva, and so on. So, ang tala niyo lang dyan na acronym is TRALO. Okay, kaya nagkaroon tayo ng ALITRALO. Ibig sabihin, ang associative evidence, it will link. While ang tracing evidence naman, it will locate yung tanatawag natin na kinaroonan ng tanatawag natin na suspect or persons of interest. Again, so what are the three kinds of physical evidence? We have the corpus delicti. Uh, it is the body of the crime, literally. And of course, it means uh, it is any evidence to prove that the crime exists. While uh, second, the social evidence naman, it will link, of course, yung sa suspect. Alimbawa, yung wallet, clothing, and etc. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng acronym na ALI. And of course, ang tracing evidence class, of course, it, it will locate yung tanatawag natin na kinaroonan ng, of course, ang suspect or persons of interest. Okay, that's why ALI TRALO. Okay? Nakuha niya class? Nasundan? Nasundan niyo Bakit walang sumasagot? Kunin, sir. Okay, sige. Good. Okay, next tayo. Alitralo. Okay, so yung mga binibigay ko na acronym class or na mnemonics po ninyo yun, ay ilista nyo yan. Gawin of course, we have the types of examination of physical evidence. Okay, so meron tayong types of examination of physical evidence. Of course, una, we have, of course, the physical examination. Of course, the use of different senses to examine the evidence. Again, use of uh, different senses to examine the evidence. Second naman, we have the scientific examination. Ang scientific examination naman, of course, uh, use of sorry, scientific instrument or criminalistic apparatus class to, to determine or to examine the evidence. Halimbawa, yung blood, okay, yung saliva, Okay, is that semen or and so on? So, of course, gagamitan natin yan ng scientific examination class. Then, of course, dalawa lang yan ha. So, we have the, uh, the uh, physical examination that is based on or using the different senses to examine uh, the evidence. While ang scientific examination naman, that is the use of scientific instrument to eventually, of course, uh, makapagpaturo or mapatunayan na uh, pwedeng blood ba yan, saliva, and so on. So, that's scientific instrument the use of scientific instrument or criminalistic science in uh, determining or examining the evidence gathered. Then, of course, we have uh, ano yung difference class ng criminalistics versus forensic science kasi very important rin to na malaman ninyo. Pag sinabi natin criminalistic science, uh, criminalistics class, of course, that is the examination of physical evidence. Again, pag sinabi natin physical evidence, that is the object of interest of uh, any investigation. Then, ang uh, criminalistic class, uh, that is the field of, of course, the forensic science. While ang forensic science, of course, that is the application of various sciences. Okay? The application of various sciences, of course, that is the science that study other sciences. Diba? Uh, bawa yung uh, chemistry, biology. So that is forensic science. Application of various sciences. So meaning it is the science that study other as sciences. Okay, again, a criminalistic examination of physical evidence that is the field of forensic science. 
wherein yung uh, forensic science, the application of various sciences, that is the science that study other sciences. Okay, ibig sabihin parang pinaka-mother siya. Okay, parang uh, <coughs> kumaga siya yung pinaka-main na tinatawag natin na ng course sub lang yung criminalistics natin. Okay, so uh, of course, we have the notable person class and, uh, and focal principles of criminalistic science. Una dyan, of course, si, uh, we have Edmund Lockhart. Si Edmund Lockhart, of course, uh, siya yung uh, author class ng Sherlock Holmes of France. Of course, ang uh, kaniyang uh, ano, ang kaniyang uh, tinatawag natin uh, uh, na nabigay, of course, na, na contribute in the criminalistic science is the Lockhart's exchange uh, principle. Okay, class. So, okay, sa discussion ninyo sa preview center ninyo, ano, okay, what is the Lockhart's exchange principle? Kailan natin matatawag or kailan natin masasabi na there is a Lockhart's exchange principle? Okay, ano yung na-remember nyo, class? Pag sinabi natin Lockhart's exchange principle, what is local Lockhart exchange principle? On the comment section, pakilagay. What is low cards? Okay, very good. So every contact leaves a trace. Okay, very good, class. Okay, every contact leaves a trace. Yan yung tanatawag natin na low cards exchange principle. But of course, aside from that, class, marami pa ang iya tanatawag natin na definition or interpretation, class, ng low cards exchange principle. Of course, number one, ang pinakauna dyan, every contact leaves a trace. Okay, so meaning... Every criminal can be connected to a crime by particles carried from the crime scene. Okay, uh, hindi niya namamalayan. Ano ba, yung chanelas niya or yung, uh, yung sapatos niya. Okay, uh, naiwan doon yung tanatawag na tena soil. Okay, yung lupa. Okay, it can uh, basically, of course, it will be connected to a crime. So any particles class carried from the crime scene it will be used against him. Okay, so that is under the Lockhart's Exchange Principle. By of course, see, uh, see a Lockhart's Exchange Principle class, tinawag natin yun na Sherlock Holmes of France. Okay, yan yung uh, every contact leaves a trace. Okay, next tayo. We have, of course, uh, third, of course, ang alam nyo lang, number one. Oh. Okay, uh, honestly class, ito lang yung alam ninyo, no? ano yung number one, tama ba? Tama ako or tama. Okay. So, ayan. So, of course, number three, of course, when a criminal comes in contact with an object or person, a cross-transfer of evidence occurs. So, that's why, diba? Bawal na bawal yung tinatawa natin na contamination of evidence. So, daya, kaya that's why, diba? Nilalagyan natin ng cordon ng ating uh, crime scene kasi uh, a criminal comes in contact with an object or person, there's a cross-transfer of evidence or then, of course, kapag ano ba, yung offender, mahawakan niya yung tao na yun, of course, mayroong fingerprint na maiwan doon or any particles na posibleng uh, masangkot siya or mas natawag natin na baka siya yung uh, isa sa mga offender natin. So again, ang Edmore Lockhart or Sherlock Holmes of France or Lockhart Exchange Principle, every contact leaves a trace. Familiarize with this kasi baka sabihin sa board exam, the following are low cards exchange principle tapos ang alam niyo lang number 1 di ba hindi niyo alam yung number 2 every criminal can be connected to a crime by particles carried from the crime scene and third we, when a criminal comes in contact with an object or person a cross transfer of evidence occurs nakuha nakuha niyo class nakuha ba sir okay so familiar ba kayo sa number 2 and 3 or hindi hindi ba Number one lang, sir. Number one lang? Okay, bakit ganon? Okay, so ayan. So ayan na, tatlo yan. Okay, so next tayo. Of course, uh, we have second, si, uh, si Paul Kirk. Okay, si Paul Kirk naman, class, he is the father of criminalistics in the United States. Sinabi niyo naman, whenever, whenever he stabs, whatever he touch, or whatever he leaves, even unconsciously, ibig sabihin hindi niya na malayan, will serve as a silent witness against him. Okay? So yung silent witness against him, yung naiwan niya class na hindi niya namamalayan, it is a beer mute witness and it is factual evidence. Diba? Uh, halimbawa, yung semen uh, nang galing sa'yo or yung dugo nang galing sa'yo. So it is a silent witness against you or it is a beer or it is a mute 
Ibig sabihin, kahit hindi nagsasalita yan, pero it is a factual evidence. Posibleng ikakulong mo yan. Kasi di ba, of course, gagamitan natin ng scientific instrument or criminalistic uh, science. Okay? So again, si Paul Kirk, the father of criminalistics in the United States. Okay? So yan. Okay, next time, of course, we have si uh, Dr. Hans Gross. Si Dr. Hans Gross naman, class, of course, siya yung father of modern criminalistics. Tandaan nyo again, pag sinabi natin uh, Dr. Hans Gross, he is the father of modern criminalistics or forensic science. Ang sinabi nyo naman, class, the search for truth is the ultimate goal of all investigative and detective works. Again, pag sinabi natin Dr. Hans Gross, Uh, the father of modern criminalistics, the search for truth, is the ultimate goal of investigative and detective works. Of course, bakit kaya tayo nag-investiga? Of course, ang, ang, ang gusto natin or ang pin, uh, pinakakain natin, guys, to know the truth, okay? which is our ultimate goal in any investigation or any detective works natin. Okay? So, yan. Yeah, Dr. Hans Gross. Okay, so I hope may nakuha kayo class sa kanilang uh, significant contribution in the field of criminology. Okay, next tayo. Please answer Christopher. Christopher, nandiyan ka? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, sige. Go ahead. It means that the crime was actually perpetrated. A. Pro B. Evidence. C. Physical evidence. D. Corpus Delicti. Answer. Okay. Okay, so what is your answer? It means that the crime was actually perpetrated. Okay, class, on the comment section, please. Okay, sinabi niya that the crime was actually perpetrated or where was actually committed. Of course, class, it means that the crime was actually perpetrated. Ang sagot natin dyan, that is corpus delicti evidence. Okay, di ba? Pag sinabi natin proof, that is the result of the evidence. Na ulit nato klasa nung last time. The evidence naman, it is the means sanctioned by the rules of court and of course physical evidence or that is the object or materials found in the crime scene. Okay? Dito tayo. Please answer after ni uh, ano... Si uh, Valdez, Binard, Valdez. Sir, rinig po ba, sir? Yes, inarinig. The SOCA team arrived at the crime scene involving a case of killing. If they will take out photograph of the crime scene, what is the best pot photographic view applicable? A, close-up view. B, any view. C, general view. D, medium view. Okay, sige, class. So, the SOCO team arrive at the crime scene involving a case of killing. If they will take a photograph of the crime scene, okay, focus natin na, ang ipopotograph natin class is the crime scene. So, what will be the best photographic view applicable? Okay. So, again, kapag sinabi sa board exam or tinanong sa board exam, uh, what is the best photographic view applicable kapag ipopotograph natin ang crime scene. Mm -hmm. Okay, may medium, may general view. Okay, ano ba talaga? Bakit wala kayong uh, concrete answer? Okay, so ang sagot natin dyan, class, of course, kapag i-photograph natin ang crime scene, okay? Okay, kapag i-photograph natin ang crime scene, class, na nyo, ah, crime scene ang i-photograph natin, walang, hindi naman nakalagay dyan kung uh, physical evidence or any other uh, evidence. Okay, ang sagot natin dyan, that is, okay. So ang sagot natin, class, kapag crime scene, of course, that is, 
a general view that is letter C. Okay, crime scene kasi ang pinaphotograph eh. Okay, so that is a uh, general view ang gagamitin natin. Okay, ganito class. Okay, focus kayo dito. Okay, mamaya na natin i-discuss ha. Dito naman tayo sa another example or another question. Pagkibasa nga. Okay, bakit nagkamali kayo doon? Uh, class, marami nagkamali ha. Si Gwenet. Gwenet. Nandiyan yes, si Gwenet. Coach. Okay, sige, Gwenet. Okay, go ahead. The SOCO responded to the crime scene. It was photographed, sketched, and measured. If the SOCO photograph, photo, uh, if the SOCO photographer will take picture of the physical evidence and not the crime scene, what will be the best photographic view to be taken? A. Total take. B. Long range photograph. C. Close range photograph. D. Close up. Okay, so uh, dyan lang muna si Gwyneth kay may, kasi may itatanong ako dito, class, para ma malaman niyo yung pag-atake sa tanong or pagsagot ng mga question. So, sinabi niya, the SOCO responded to the crime scene. Okay, hindi pa yan yung tanong, ha? It was photographed, uh, sketched, and measured. If the SOCO photographer will take picture of the physical evidence, ibig sabihin ba si underline niya yan, ang ipo-photograph natin, class, is the physical evidence and not the crime scene. So what will be the best photographic view? Dito kayo mag-focus, oh. What will be the best uh, photographic view to be taken? Okay. Ang tanong niya, class, the best photographic view to be taken. So pag sinama natin best photographic view, class, okay, so Gwyneth, okay, and others, class, ano yung first natin na tatanggalin dyan na hindi tamang sagot? Yung dalawa, rather. Kasi ang tanong niya, photographic view. So ano yung first natin or yung dalawa na tatanggalin natin dyan, class, na hindi siya tamang sagot? Ha? Bakit A and B? Okay, ang sagot natin dyan, ang first natin na tatanggalin, class, ng dalawa is yung B and letter C. Kasi ang tanong sa board, ang tanong ng board exam or tanong ng PRC, class, is photographic view. Wag mo isagot si 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 range, okay? Range naman 'yan, oh. No? Okay, range. So that's why hindi mo 'yan talaga siya isasagot, class. Nakuha niyo yung point? Nakuha ba niyo? Okay, so that's why ang ating uh, pagpipilian na lang diyan si letter A at letter D. Nakuha niyo ba, class? Pag kasi sinagot mo dito isa lang man or uh, di isa or isa sa dito sa letter B and letter C, mali ka na. Kasi tingnan mo, ang tanong niya is photographic view. Tapos ang sagot ang isagot mo sa kanila is photographic range. Of course, that is wrong. Okay, nakuha niyo? So that's why ang sagot natin dyan, class, that is... Okay, so ang sagot natin... What will be our answer? Okay, that is, uh, of course... Uh, uh, mali mo na. Okay, that is letter D. Okay, that is uh, close up uh, view. Okay, so that is uh, close up view. <clears throat> okay, nakita nyo na class kung saan kayo nagkamali. Okay, so that's why very important na focus kayo sa question class. Ah. Mag-focus kayo sa question kasi uh, haliwaw dito, di ba marami nagkamali? Okay, sa sabi nyo itanggalin si A at ano yun, letter D. Di ba tinanggal nyo na yung tamagsagot? Okay, kasi ang tanong niya, photographic view. Kaya huwag mo isagot si photographic range at si close-up range at si long range. Kasi of course, photographic range ang tawag natin dyan. Na Naintindihan nyo ba? Naintindihan nyo na class? Okay, so yan yung technique na hindi makukuha or hindi ba ituturo sa inyo, di ba? Nang, uh, of course, nang iba, di ba? So that's why uh, i-improve nyo yan class yung uh, ano na nyo. Uh, i-improve nyo yung uh, tinatawag natin na comprehension ninyo. Kasi of course, dito sa ating uh, discussion class, okay, kahit online tayo nagkikita, of course, I I'll make sure na pag nating sa board exam, magagamit at magagamit nyo, di ba? Okay, so yun yung kailangan natin, yung technique sa board exam. Lahat naman kayo parehas kayo ng binasa, pero ang ang kaibahan lang, bakit pumapasa ka or bakit papasa at magtatap ka? Kasi nga, meron kang technique, okay, binigyan kita ng long-term memory or pang long-term memory ang tawag natin dyan, okay? So kahit ano yung bato na question sa iyo, sure na sure ako na makakasagot ka. Kasi nakafocus ka mismo sa tanong. Hindi lang dito. Kasi kapag mag-focus ka dito, kaso, okay, so wala yan. Okay? Yung hanggang sa measured. Of course, dito kailangan na yan. Kasi physical evidence. So that's why that is, ang sagot natin that is letter D. Okay, dito tayo class. 
Meron tayong tinatawag na four kinds of photographic view. Okay, ano na yung mga four kinds of photo photographic view natin? Of course, una, we have the general view. Kapag general view class, ang photograph mo ngayon is the crime scene. Again, pag sinabi natin uh, general view, ang photograph mo ngayon din class is the crime scene. Ang general view class, of course, ang kailangan natin dyan, then, or tinatawag rin natin yan na total take, all angles or yung tinatawag natin na overall view ibig sabihin lahat or yung kabuuan ng crime scene ang ipo-photograph mo. Kaya di ba nagkamali kayo doon kanina? Then ang medium view naman ibig sabihin ng medium view yung uh, crime scene of course crime scene pa rin ang ipo-photograph mo pero it will be divided into grid or zone. Okay, zone 1, zone 2, zone 3, zone 4 ano ba? Yung room is i-divide natin sa apat so that is a medium view. Okay, that is divided into grid. Uh, it is divided into zone or grid. So that is a medium view. Then pag sinama natin close-up view, okay, ang close-up view naman, that is uh, what we call the physical evidence. Okay, ang physical, uh, physical evidence naman class, ang ipo-photograph mo ngayon. Halimbawa, yung dead body, okay, yung naiwan sa crime scene. Okay, that is close-up view. Yan yung tanatawag natin na kapag physical evidence ang ipo-photograph mo. Then kapag sinabi natin extreme close-up, okay, sa extreme close-up naman class, of course, ang ipo-photograph mo na dyan is the details of the physical evidence. Ibig sabihin, gagamitan na natin ng micro-photography. Uh, halimbawa, yung wound. Okay? So that's the time. Kailangan natin ng extreme close-up para malaman natin kung gano'ng kalalim ang wound na tamo ng, ng biktima. Okay, so that's why gagamitan natin yan ng extreme close-up. Ulitin ko ha, ang general view kapag i-photograph natin yung kabuha ng crime scene. That's why ang general view tinawag natin yan na total take or all angles or overall view. While ang medium view, of course, if i-photograph mo ang crime scene when it is divided into zone or when it is divided into grid, di ba? While ang close-up view, kapag ang i-photograph mo, is yung physical evidence found in the crime scene or locus criminis. While the extreme close-up, of course, ang i-photograph mo class is uh, the details of the physical evidence. Gagamitan natin ng micro-photography. Halimbawa na lamang, yung wound na natamo ng biktima, kung gano kalalim, gano kalaki. So that is extreme close-up ang gagamitin natin. Mm -hmm. Naku nakuha niyo class, nakita niyo. Uh, bakit nagkamali kayo? Hindi ba na discuss nung undergrad niyo to? Or ano, hindi ba na bakit hindi hindi kayo ano, nagtaka ko kanina eh. That is a very basic question class or that is very basic topic pero nag marami pa ring or parang dalawa lang yung nakuha ng tamang sagot. Naintindihan niyo na? Yes, sir. Okay, yes. sige. Okay, next tayo. Okay, next tayo. Uh, proceed tayo sa next line. Okay, ulitin nyo mamaya class ang ating discussion para mas maliwanagan kayo. Sinabi ko kanina, meron tayo, huwag nyo isagot si photographic range. Of course, kasi ang title niyan is photographic distance or photographic range. Magkaiba ang distance sa tinatawag natin na view. Okay? So, ang photographic distance class, tatlo lang yan. So, we have the long range, mid range, and close up range. Sa long range class or yung long range photography or yung uh, long range photograph of course uh, ang distance class is from uh, doorway okay to the room and other corners again ang long range photograph the distance from the doorway okay so yung uh, of course door natin to the to the room on other corners while um, of course ang mid range naman class ang uh, ang haba niya kapag i-photograph natin from 6 uh, feet to 8 feet okay from the items being photographed yan yung tinatawag natin na mid range or the mid range photograph while ang close up photograph naman class that is we have the 1 to 5 feet from the object being photographed wala tayong tinatawag na extreme range photograph okay so yan yung tinatawag natin na photographic distance again uh, ang long range, of course, the distance from the doorway to the room and other corners. Ang mid-range naman, uh, from 6 to 8 feet from the items being photographed. And ang close-up range or the close-up photograph from uh, 1 to 5 feet from the object being photographed. So yan yung tanatawag na rin na photographic distance. Nakuha ba? Nakuha niyo, class? Nakuha na? Yes, okay na ba? Okay, sige. Next tayo. 
Okay, so we have the MAC principle. Okay, ano yung tinatawag natin, class? Or MAC stands for. Okay, ano yung sabihin ng MAC principle? Okay, what is MAC? Okay, so what is MAC principle na tinatawag natin? Okay, MAC stands for. What is MAC class? Okay, what is MAC principle na tawag natin? MAC principle. What is MAC principle? Okay, in the comment section, please. Okay, so ang MAC principle, of course, uh, never move, alter, or cut. Okay, very good, uh, Florendo. Okay, so again, pag sinabi natin MAC principle class, never move, alter, or cut any physical evidence unless it is a photograph, a sketch, and measured before the crime scene can be searched. That is uh, what we call the MAC principle. Again, pag sinabi natin MAC principle, Never move, okay, alter, cut any physical evidence unless uh, it is a photograph, a sketch, and measured before the crime scene can be searched. Okay, nakuha niyo? Okay, so yan yung MAC principle natin. I-explain natin yan further mamaya. Then uh, after ni uh, Gwyneth, okay, so nandito ba si, uh, si Lady May? Abayon, Lady May? Uh, available bus uh, okay so ayan sige let me go ahead what is the most practical method of preservation of physical evidence in a crime scene a fingerprint b photograph c dicerobonic acid and d documentation okay so thank you Okay, so what is the most uh, practical method of preservation of physical evidence uh, in a crime scene? A, fingerprint, letter B, photograph, letter C, dioxide monoclonic acid, and letter D, documentation. Okay, what is the most practical method thus? Okay, the, the most practical. Okay, so ayan. <clears throat> okay na? Okay, of course, class, still, ang sagot natin dyan, that is letter B. Kasi ang tanong niya, the most practical method of preserving the crime scene is, of course, that is a photograph. Okay, that is the most practical method of preservation of physical evidence in the crime scene. Okay, so walang tanong dyan, ha? Or that is uh, already settled. Okay, next. After ni, uh, ano, so we have Miniano. Miniano. Nandyan ba si Miniano? Okay, sige, Miniano, go ahead. Sir, pwede tanggal yung kwan, hindi ko makita. Ay, hindi mo makita yung ano. O, sige, ayan, nakita mo na? <clears throat> Wait lang, sir. Ay, okay. sige po. Ayan. You are a policeman assigned in a traffic division. You were called to response involving a motor vehicle and a pedestrian. What would be the first to do in the accident scene to preserve the scene? Letter A, bring the victim to the nearest hospital. B, clear the area. C, cordon the area. Letter D, photograph the scene. Okay, sige. Okay, so on the comment section class, what is your answer? So, ang tanong, okay, you are a policeman assigned in a traffic division. Uh, you were called the response involving a motor vehicle and a pedestrian. So, of course, nangyari sa, okay, sa street or sa highway. So, what would be the first uh, to do or what is the first thing to do in the accident scene to preserve the crime scene? Take note na saan nangyari ang accident, of course, sa tinatawag natin na highway or street. So, what is the uh, first thing to do? Hmm. Okay. So, what is the first thing to do to preserve the crime scene? Iba-iba yung sagot ninyo. Photograph, 
poured on the area. Tandaan niyo class, uh, okay, sa street or sa highway nangyari. Hmm. Ano yung first na yung nagagawin doon? Okay, bakit iba-iba yung sagot ninyo? Anong nangyayari sa inyo? Okay, so anong anong gagawin natin class kapag nasa nasa highway? Okay, of course class, kapag nasa highway, kapag hindi mo 'yan inalis agad 'yan, 'di ba? It will uh, of course obstruct yung tinatawag natin, it will delay yung tinatawag natin na uh, na traffic, 'di ba? Yung mga uh, ano na lang yung papasok sa trabaho. So that's why ang the best pa rin ng gagawin natin is that is letter D, photograph the scene. Kasi 'di ba? Ang photograph or ang picture, it speaks a thousand words. Okay? So, meron tayong tinatawag na we see with principle. Uh, what you see is what you get. Ibig sabihin kung ano yung kung ano yung uh, tinatawag natin na uh, uh, ano yun? Yung ano yung uh, na picture uh, na picture mo na uh, any uh, anything. Okay? So, that is what we call photograph the scene. Okay? So that is uh, the first thing to do in the accident scene class. Okay, to preserve the crime scene or to preserve the scene. Photograph. Okay, so huwag may cordon class kasi of course, um, ano pa, uh, maapektuhan yung uh, tinatawag natin na traffic. Okay, pag sinabi, pag sinabi natin bring the victim to the nearest hospital, of course, di ba? That is the first thing to be done. Okay, so again, ulitin natin na the first thing to be done. Uh, kahit uh, sabihin mo na patay na yan, again, you are not in the position to to declare na patay na yung tao na yan. Okay? Kasi nga, of course, you are not a physician. Okay? So that is the first thing to be done. Bring the victim to the nearest hospital. Then we have clear the area. Ang clear the area naman, class, that is the, the first thing to do, yan yung first thing na gagawin mo, class, in a suicide situation or in a hold up situation. So, clear the area. So, sa suicide naman yan. While cordon the area class, that was that is the first thing to do to preserve the crime scene. Again, the first thing to do to preserve the crime scene. And of course, uh, photograph the scene that is the first thing to be done in an accident scene. Okay, ano ba? Yung nangyari ang aksidente sa of course, sa street or sa highway. So, photograph the scene is the first thing to do in an accident scene. Again, ulitin natin, uh, bring the victim to the nearest hospital. That is the first thing to be done kasi hindi ka pwedeng magsabi na patay na yan. Okay? Kasi you are not in the position. While ang clear the area, that is the first thing to do in a suicide situation or in the hold up position or situation. Uh, Cold in the area naman, that is the first thing to do to preserve the crime scene. Uh, photograph the scene, that is the first thing to do in the accident uh, scene. Okay? Nakuha ninyo? Nasundan nyo maklas? Nasundan ninyo? Nasundan. Okay. Bakit walang sumasagot? Okay. Sige. Next tayo. Okay. So, pa after... Sino yung next natin na sasagot? Okay. Pili na lang ako dito. Si... Uh, okay. Si Berto Dazo. Berto Dazo, nandyan ka? Yes, sir. Okay, sige, go ahead. Kind of, kind of sketch without scale or proportion. A, finish sketch, sketch. B, rough sketch. C, elevation sketch. D, ground sketch. Okay, thank you. So, what is the kind or it is a kind of sketch without scale and proportion or proportion? Dalawa lang naman, class, ang uh, tinatawag natin na sketch or yung, yung kind of sketches. Okay, pag sinabi natin without scale or proportion, what is that? Mm -hmm. Of course, a uh, kind of sketch without scale or proportion that is, of course, a rough uh, sketch. Okay, that is rough sketch class. Okay, that is a uh, letter B. Rough sketch ang tawag natin dyan. Okay, without scale or proportion. Okay, so yan ang rough sketch natin. Okay, then of course, we have the uh, the kinds of sketch. We have the rough sketch. And of course, we have the finished uh, sketch. 
Okay, ang rough sketch of course class that is uh, without scale or proportion. Again, pag sinabi natin rough sketch, that is uh, without scale or proportion, tinatawag natin yan ng sketch on field. Of course, yung ginagawa or yung sketch natin sa field class or yung sa crime scene, di ba? So yan yung tinatawag natin ng rough sketch. Without scale and proportion, ibig sabihin wala pang, wala pang measurement kung saan situated. Okay, yung uh, ano yan. Okay, yung sa draft ano tinatawag natin. Yung ano pa lang hindi pa final, di ba? So, uh, of course, ang finished sketch class with scale and proportion na yan. Kung ano yung measurement from door to the dead body, from door to um to the to the physical evidence. Yan yung tinatawag natin na finished sketch. Okay, with scale or proportion. Of course, ang gumagawa niyan, of course, yung draft man class, ang purpose ng uh, finished sketch, of course, uh, it will be used class in the court presentation as evidence. Okay? So, kung sinabi natin rough sketch uh, without scale or proportion or yung tinatawag natin na sketch in the field or crime scene while ang finished sketch naman, of course, uh, with scale or proportion, of course, uh, finalize na na ng draft one natin that is uh, to be presented in court. Okay? For court presentation. Okay? So, yan yung kinds of sketch natin. Then, of course, we have the types of sketch. We have the floor or uh, floor plan or overview, neighborhood, ground sketch, or kung ano yung nakapaligid sa'yo, na establishment, okay, in the building. So that is neighborhood or ground sketch. Then we have exploded view and elevation sketch. Okay, so yan yung steps of, uh, top, uh, types of sketches. Okay, then, of course, we have uh, the term or tinatawag natin na investigation. Pag sinabi natin investigation class, of course, that is the systematic study of facts concerning a crime. So, nang galing yung uh, investigation class, okay, it came from the Latin term investigare. Okay, so it came from the Latin term, sorry, investigare, uh, which means uh, to trace or to locate. Again, pag sinabi natin uh, investigation, it came from the Latin term investigare. Uh, which means to trace or to locate. Then, of course, ang uh, nilolocate natin class, yung tanatawag natin na suspect that is known today as the persons of interest or the POI. Okay? So, of course, pag sinabi natin uh, crime investigation naman class, ang tanda nyo lang dyan is the GOF. Okay? That is uh, gathering of facts. Okay? So, ang crime investigation that is GOF or gathering of facts uh, concerning the commission of the crime. Again, pag sinabi natin uh, crime investigation, that is the gathering of facts concerning the commission of the crime. Okay? So, yan. G-O-M. Okay. Next tayo. Okay. So, we have the criminal investigation. Ang criminal investigation, of course, that is ILP, that is a use to identify, to locate, and provide the evidence for the guilt of the person or ILP. So, of course, person suspected of the crime. So, that is the purpose of a criminal investigation. While uh, uh, crime investigation of court class, of course, that is the written statement of facts, kung ano yung nangyari on a particular crime. So, crime investigation uh, report, ang tawag natin dyan. Okay, then of course, uh, we have uh, another, of course, yung tanatawag natin na chain of custody. Um, chain of custody, of course, that is the transfer of evidence or tanawag natin yan na unbroken chain. Okay, so yung items of evidence is collected at the crime scene is the same evidence that being presented in court. Ibig sabihin, kung ano yung uh, from creation niya or paggagawa or pag-collect ng evidence or about yung documents, dapat same rin yan kapag uh, i-present natin sa korte. So basically, same evidence Okay, uh, from creation to its disposal. Okay, nung ginawa siya, ano of course yung i-dispose na natin. So that is what we call the chain of custody. Okay, so the transfer of evidence. Then, of course, uh, we have the criminal investigation. Kanina tapos na natin. ILP, identify, locate, and provide the evidence for the guilt of a person in a criminal proceeding that is criminal investigation. Then, of course, pag sinabi natin admission versus confession class, tanda nyo lang pag sinabi natin ad admission, that is the uh, statement or acknowledgement of facts. Again, nakapokus siya sa facts, acknowledgement of facts or statement of facts. While ang confession naman, that is the acknowledgement of guilt or the statement of guilt. So, yan yung kaibahan 
ni admission versus confession. Okay, next tayo. Okay, so actually, uh, ano tayo? So, um, si uh, Lady May, ay tapos na pala si Lady May. Si, uh, ano naman? Tigulo. Tigulo? Yes, sir. Okay, sige, go ahead. It is the simple questioning of the person suspected of crime. A, interview. B, interrogation. C, instrumentation. D, information. Okay, so again, it is a, a simple questioning of a person suspected of a crime. Again, it is a simple questioning of a person suspected of a crime. Okay, so what is the answer? Hmm. Okay, so ayan, medyo hindi pa talaga kayo ready class of board exam. Or iba siguro yung naturo sa inyo. Okay? So ang, ang sagot natin yung class, sinabi niya, okay, so it is a simple questioning of a person suspected of a crime. Ang tinanong niya is a suspect. So that's why ang sagot natin dyan, there is interrogation. So do not focus class sa tinatawag na na simple questioning. Okay? Pang ano lang yan sila class to make the The, 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 the question uh, scholarly or complete on the thing. So that's why class, ang sagot natin dyan, that is interrogation. Okay? Kasi nga, uh, gumagamit lang ng term na interrogation class that is only for, for sa suspect lang yan. Okay? So ito tayo. Okay, so we have the three tools of investigation kasi of course, uh, we have the interview pag sinabi natin interview class, that is only applicable kay witness or yung kay victim natin. Ang interrogation naman, that is kay suspect. Ang instrumentation naman, that is the use of, uh, of course, uh, criminalistic science. So again, kapag uh, interview, witness, or victim, ang interrogation naman kay suspect. Do not focus on the uh, uh, uncooperative, uh, simple questioning, Uh, complicated questioning and so on. Okay, kasi sa interview, that is only for witness. Ang interrogation naman, that is for suspect. Okay, then of course, we have the eyes of investigation. Ang eyes of investigation, of course, uh, we have the interview, interrogation, instrumentation. So, i-copy mo lang yung tatlo. Okay, yung three tools of investigation. Tapos, itadag dyan, itadag mo dyan, class, ito na tawag natin na information. Kasi si information, it is considered as the blood life or the bloodline of investigation. Again, ang, ang, uh, ang interview, interrogation, instrumentation, that is the eyes of investigation. So, itadagdag mo lang ngayon si information. Kasi si information, that is the blood life or the bloodline of investigation. Okay, so yan. Okay, next tayo. Okay, so how about this one? Okay, so mag ano tayo ng mag uh, sasagot or magbabasa si uh, tapos na ba si Miniano? Hindi pa. Sige lang sir, ako na lang po. Ah sige, Miniano, sige. It is a first full questioning of a witness of a crime. Inter a interview, B interrogation, C instrumentation, D information. It is a forceful questioning of a witness of a crime. A. Interview. B. Interrogation. C. Instrumentation. D. Information. Okay. Sige. So, what is your answer, class? Please answer sa comment section. Okay, so let's answer this one, of course, class. The ang focus niya is the witness. So that's why ang sagot natin dyan, that is, of course, interview. Okay, that is uh, interview ang sagot natin dyan. Okay, very good, class. 
Okay, so nakuha nyo na yung uh, technique on how to answer this. Of course, yung mga ganitong question na uh, basic. But of course, that is basic class. Kapag, kapag hindi mo, hindi ka nag-focus dyan or wala kang focus dyan, of course, mawawala ka rin. Okay, so that is uh, what they called interview. Okay, so meron tayong mga key terms class. Of course, uh, meron tayong tanatawag na criminal investigation. Again, pag sinabi natin yung... Uh, Uh, criminal investigation. So again, on the comment section class, i-summarize natin. Pag sinabi natin criminal investigation, anong tandaan niyo? Okay, anong tandaan niyo class? Pag sinabi natin criminal investigation, what is? That is? Anong tandaan natin? Pag criminal investigation, of course, that is I I L P. Okay, so I L P. So ibig sabihin, Identify, locate, and provide evidence to the guilt of the person. Bakit lang kay Gwinnett lang ano? Okay, so ayan. So, ayan. So, ILP. Okay, so ILP. So, of course, that is the criminal investigation. How about naman, class, pag sinabi natin crime investigation? So, anong dapat ninyong tandaan pag tinawag natin or pag sinabi natin crime investigation? Okay, what is crime investigation? Okay, very good. Okay, so that is uh, GOF. Okay, that is uh, gathering of facts. Okay, so yan yung tinatawag natin na crime investigation. Okay, how about class pag sinabi natin interview? Sino naman or ano, sino naman ang gumagamit ng term na interview? Okay, the witness or the victim. Okay, very good. How about yung tanatawag natin na interrogation? Sino naman ang gumagamit ng term na interrogation? Okay, very good. So, of course, that is the uh, suspect. Okay? So, how about kapag sinabi natin instrumentation naman? Ang instrumentation, ano yon? Okay, what is instrumentation? Use of criminalistic science. Okay? Pag sinabi nating uh, pag sinabi nating instrumentation class of course very good that is the use of criminalistic science in detecting or in, in examining crime okay so yan yung tinatawag natin na instrumentation okay how about yung tinatawag natin ngayon class na information okay ano yung silbi or ano yung role ni information class okay si information So, yung tinatawag natin na bloodline or the bloodline of any investigative process or any investigation. The bloodline or the bloodline or investigation. Okay. So, how about yung tinatawag natin na triangulation method? Okay. What is triangulation method? Okay. There is the... Okay. Kung uh, hindi nyo na nalalaman pag sinabi natin yung uh, triangulation method, That is the uh, the most okay the most practical means uh, of measuring the crime scene. Okay, so again, pag sinabi natin uh, pag sinabi natin triangulation method class, of course, that is the most uh, practical means of measuring the crime scene. So yan yung tanatawag natin ngayon na Of course, triangulation method. Nakita ninyo sa comment section class, uh, deny po dyan para ma-note ma ninyo. Again, pag sinabi natin triangulation method, that is the most uh, practical means of measuring the crime scene. Okay, how about naman yung tinatawag natin na chain of custody? Okay, so pag sinabi natin chain of custody, what is chain of custody class? Okay, of course, that is the handling of evidence from its creation to disposal. Mm -hmm. So yan yung tanatawag natin na chain of custody. Okay, so that from uh, from its creation to disposal, same yan, di ba? Same uh, yung uh, evidence uh, uh, gathered, then yung same evidence rin yung ipipresent natin sa korte. Okay, so that is the uh, what we call the uh, chain of custody. Okay, how about naman class? yung tinatawag natin ngayon na corpus delicti. Okay, what is corpus delicti by the way? Okay, so what is corpus delicti? What is uh, corpus delicti? Of course, that is the body of the crime. Okay, so that is the body of the crime. So, 
So ano naman yung definition niya ngayon, class? Ano yung definition ng corpus delicti para mas maritain sa utak kanya? What is corpus delicti ba? Okay, so what is corpus delicti? Okay, ano yung definition niya? Kasi literal yung binigay niyo eh, body of the crime. So what is the definition of corpus delicti? Okay, so what is the definition of the corpus delicti class? Bakit walang sumasagot? Uh, narinig nyo ba? Nandiyan? Okay. So it is uh, the evidence, sabi ni uh, Gwinnett, to prove that a crime exists. Okay, very good. So yan yung tanatawag natin na corpus delicti. Okay? So of first class, uh, investigation. Okay, so our sa interview interrogation on the next subject natin. Oh, matatalakay natin si, um, si Matt. Okay, or si uh, Matt and Jeff. Okay, sino si uh, Jeff? Sino si uh, Matt? Dalawa yan, di ba? Yung dalawang personality mo. Okay, kapag nagkakaroon uh, or nagkakanda ka ng interrogation. So, sino ngayon ang class? Good and bad. Okay, sino si good? Sino si good sa kanila? Sino yung si good? Sino yung bad sa kanila? Sino yung class? Okay, sino yung good sa kanila? Sino yung bad sa kanila? Okay, paki-identify kasi baka baka itanong. Sino yung good or sino yung bad? Okay, sino ba class? Sino? Paki-identify. Okay, sino yung uh, mabait? Sino yung hindi? Bakit wala? <laughs> Bakit wala ang sumasagot? Hmm. So ayan, of course si uh, si Mat, of course um uh, Okay, sinabi niya si uh, Si Matt daw is uh, mabait. <laughs> si Jeff is, uh, okay, of course, I bad si Matt. Of course, si Jeff is good. So, tinignan natin yung class on the next, of course, discussion natin. Okay, so, yan. Okay. Si Matt bad, si Jeff mabait. Di ako sure. Okay. So, dito tayo, class. Of course, ito yung sagot natin, di ba? Okay. So, ito yung class. Okay. So, ang um, criminal investigation, that is IALP, di ba? Tama? Identify, locate and provide the evidence for the guilt of the person. While ang crime investigation naman, that is GOF, that is gathering of facts. While ang interview, that is uh, for witness, ang interrogation naman, for accused. Ang uh, instrumentation, of course, the use of criminalistic science class in examining or in detecting crime. Ang information naman, that is the blood life or the bloodline of investigation. While the triangulation method, of course, that is a uh, practical method in measuring the crime scene. While ang chain of custody, that is the handling of evidence. Same evidence from creation to its disposal. Um, corpus delicti naman, of course, that is the body of the crime or it is the evidence to prove that a crime exists. Okay, may nangyaring uh, krimen. Well, uh, well, as yung uh, Silmat, of course, she, uh, he is the arrogant. Okay, the arrogant class, and of course, si Jeff, of course, that is the kind one. Okay, so of course, yun yung nakakuha ng tamang sagot. Okay, si uh, Daniel at si uh, Lawrence. Okay, very good. Okay, Matan Jeff. Okay, so yan yung technique natin. Okay, so of course, uh, we have, pag sinabi natin class na intelligence, Okay, tandaan nyo class ha, pag sinabi natin intelligence, it is the end product. Okay, tandaan nyo, pag sinabi natin intelligence, that is the end product resulting from, of course, uh, from uh, gathering, of course, the data or process of information. Pag sinabi naman natin information class, of course, that is the uh, the raw data. Okay, the raw data, of course, uh, we're in, meron yung tanatawag na intelligence value. Okay, di ba? Okay, that's why ang information, it is considered 
as the bloodline or blood life of any investigation or any any as well or intelligence uh, activities. Okay, so tanda nyo lang, pag sinabi natin intelligence, that is the end product, of course, resulting from uh, broken heart mamaya. I don't know, broken heart yung... Uh, Uh, mamaya ano natin yung uh, black hole produce. Okay, mamaya i-explain ko sa inyo class. Okay, so that is the end product. While, while yung information class, tandaan nyo lang yung pinaka-definition niya, that is the raw data. Okay? So, uh, pag sinabi natin police intelligence versus military intelligence, ang um, police intelligence class, of course, that is nakapokus yan on crimes and criminal activity. Kaya nga, of course, in relation to police, di ba? Of course, sa criminality and crimes, nakapokus ang... Uh, function ng police uh, officers or law enforcement officers natin. While the military intelligence naman, of course, class, um, based on the enemy, of course, and operation. Okay? So that's why, di ba, uh, internal and external security ang pag-uusapan natin dito. Okay, so dito tayo. Then, of course, yung uh, related laws in the Philippines, class. So we have the uh, CA-616. Of course, that is the espionage law. Okay, another offenses in national security. We have the anti-war tapping law. Of course, the uh, violation of communications and so on. So, ayan. I-ano lang natin to class kasi hindi naman masyadong ano to siya. Okay, kasi sa content naman tayo mag-base. Okay, so of course, we have the military intelligence. Of course, yung uh, tinatawag natin ng military intelligence. Of course, yung um, uh, for the... Uh, insurgency okay to, to to detect the insurgency class and of course yung possible threats when our national security so yan yung trabaho of course yung uh, purpose ng military intelligence okay for uh, yung tinatawag na din na uh, collection analysis and dis dissemination of the intelligence data where whereas merong probative value okay military intelligence Of course, we have the uh, personalities uh, na dito sa intelligence. So we have si Sancho, si uh, Napoleon Bonaparte, uh, Carl, schools mister, Frederick the Great, Alexander the Great, si Samson, si Moises, and si Joseph Bauschen. Okay, mamaya explain natin kung sino yun sila. Then, of course, we have the uh, intelligence agency, uh, CIA, uh, Mossad, M15, KGB, NICA, And of course, the ISAP. Okay, mamaya explain natin yan one by one. Okay, so we have the five principles class of intelligence. So tandaan nyo lang yung tanatawag natin na acronym na STOI. Okay? Or yung tanatawag natin na, na STOI. So first, pag sinabi natin objectivity, of course, the uh, only the well-guided success. Okay? Basta may focus or meron kang uh, tanatawag natin na aim. Okay? When it comes to gathering information, Okay, to have a successful intelligence activity. So, of course, um, dapat there is a unity between knowledge and action. Hindi lang ibig sabihin na matalino ka o hindi lang ibig sabihin na maganda yung plano ninyo. So, how about naman when it comes sa execution kung wala, di ba? Okay, so, of course, uh, the intelligence should interact on condition and decision. So, uh, action or decision is planned by knowledge. and guided by it at the very step. So, dapat uh, hindi lang naka-based or hindi lang more on planning. But of course, dapat i-put into action rin. So, that's why it is the objectivity. Kasi ang result naman ang ating tinitingnan dito. Uh, second, of course, we have the interdependence. Okay, nakalagay dyan, intelligence is artificially sub uh, subdivided into component elements to ensure... complete uh, coverage and of course to eliminate duplication and to reduce the overall task to man manageable sizes every investigator dapat or intelligent agents okay intelligent agent dapat meron siyang specific uh, task okay to accomplish but of course diba yung result will be corroborated isa niyan to achieve of course a purpose niyan is to achieve a balance and harmonio uh, harmonious uh, whole or harmonious results. So, dapat every 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 agent meron siyang uh, task uh, na gagawin para, of course, to uh, to, have, to achieve a possible or to balance or a possible result. Then, of course, we have that third, we have continuity. Yung uh, intelligence must be continuous and it is necessary that coverage be, uh, of course, in all shapes. So, dapat consistent ha? 
yeah, yung uh, momentum kasi of course class uh, para makuha natin yung intelligence data kasi kapag hindi continuous yan papapahama ko of course yung kinatawag natin na ating uh, intelligence di ba? Okay, so yung uh, kasi very important na magbigay ng malaking fan sa ating uh, intelligence, di ba? And intelligence division kasi very important class na ma-detect yung possible threats or possible danger na mangyari sa ating bansa. Okay, fourth, we have timeliness. Okay, in timeliness, of course, uh, it must be communicated to the decision maker at the appropriate time to permit it most effective use. Okay, so uh, for intelligence, that is too soon or too late are equally useless. Okay, so ipagpaliban mo or masyadong maaga, that is useless class. So dapat, yung, uh, yung appropriate time yung hahanapin natin dito para of course that is effective, that is productive yung intelligence data na nakuha ninyo. Then of course, we have the security. Ang security, of course, uh, to protect. Okay, ang corruption class to protect and to preserve the integrity of its activities. So that's why it is uh, the security. Kapag ang intelligence walang security, it might be as well being run like a newspaper with this uh, similar. So that's why maprotektahan yung, um, yung uh, integrity. Of course, to preserve yung uh, content ng kanatawag na intelligence data gathered by, of course, intelligence agent. Okay, so yun yung uh, tanatawag natin. Then, of course, we have the military. Okay, military uh, intelligence or military, of course, defensive offensive tactics, yung mga war plans, strategic concept and tactical principles, and of course, any other uh, activities na ginagawa ng military or armed forces natin. Uh, when it comes to general naman, of course, uh, topographical and hydrographic characteristic or uh, historical backgrounds na of course, yung uh, tinatakal natin. Then we have diplomatic, pag sinabi natin diplomatic, of course, yung mga foreign policies, uh, policies naman, diplomatic establishment, and of course, to conduct uh, foreign relations. Okay, ang political, of course, yung ideology, traditions, personalities, uh, an area of friction, uh, communications and transportation class. Ang kailangan natin sa, of course, uh, intelligence, yung mga telephones, uh, telegraphs, uh, railway shippings, and other, of course, another factor. So, yan na naman yung ating when it comes sa uh, intelligence. Okay, of course, with the uh, social, Okay, yung mga mentality of people forces, okay, legislation, uh, television, okay, when it comes to uh, information dissemination. So, very important, or malaking factor din yung social participation natin. Then, of course, ang intelligence, of course, yung uh, any person competing intelligence system. Then, of course, ang in, in economic class, kapag wala tayong intelligence in a particular country, of course, there is a uh, financial or monetary loss, okay? or commercial, okay, industrial, mining, and agriculture. So, makapektuhan lahat yung uh, ating uh, every factors or every facet of our economy. So, that is uh, economic, of course, economic uh, impact, okay? Then, of course, we have the general activities in police intelligence. So, we have the uh, strategic intelligence, we have the line intelligence, the national intelligence, counter intelligence, and underworld, uh, other uh, other activities. Okay, ang strategic intelligence class, of course, that is uh, for long range in nature with little practical immediate operation value. Ibig sabihin yung uh, intelligence uh, activity niyan that is for long term. Okay, halimbawa, yung di ba yung ginagawa natin for long term memory. Para pagdating sa boring exam, hindi nyo makakalimutan kung yung tinuro sa inyo. Same as true with strategic uh, intelligence. Okay? That is long range. Ibig sabihin, ang effect niyan is masyadong makaba. Then, we have the line intelligence naman. Of course, ang line intelligence, kapag sa strategic, is not immediate in nature. Kapag sa line naman class, that is immediate in nature. Okay? Ibig sabihin, agad-agad, pwedeng gamitin yan. Okay, for uh, more effective police planning and operation. While ang um, national intelligence, of course, it is the integrated, ibig sabihin, combination, uh, product of intelligence deployed by, of course, the uh, governmental branches, uh, legislative, executive, and judiciary. Okay, of course, to strengthen yung aspect ng ating national security and policy. Okay, so, of course, mapanalanggaan yung mga national policies and plans ng government. So, that's why, 
it is the national intelligence. Then we have the counterintelligence. Um, counterintelligence, naman, of course, uh, to destroy, okay? That is devoted in destroying the effectiveness of hostile foreign activities. Ano ba? Yung isang bansa merong binabalak na paglusog, okay, dito sa ating bansa, of course, para maprotektahan, okay, yung bansa natin against espionage, uh, sabotage, or subversion. So, yan yung purpose ng counterintelligence. Ang uh, undercover work from a class, of course, that is, of course, a uh, investigative process, okay, so, yung tanatawag natin na to cover yung deception, okay, and confidence. Di ba kung gusto tayong may, uh, gusto tayong makakuha ng intelligence data, magkakaroon talaga class ng undercover operation or undercover work. Of course, to, uh, ang purpose niyan is to determine the nature and extent of any criminal activities that may be contemplating or perpetrating or affecting the okay, uh, possible class, yung ating state. Okay? That is the uh, general activities of police intelligence. Then, of course, we have the classification of police intelligence. We have the criminal intelligence, internal security, and of course, we have the public safety intelligence. Um, criminal intelligence class, it refers to the knowledge uh, essential in prevention, of course, uh, of crimes. Okay? So, tayo na tanawag na criminal investigation. And of course, kasi criminal yung sa tao. Okay? So, meaning yung criminal offenders. Yan yung purpose ng criminal intelligence. Kung ano yung possible na, na makumit siya ng crime or ano yung possible na uh, or kung sino yung possible na offender or perpetrator of the crime. While ang internal security intelligence naman, of course, uh, to maintain yung uh, peace and security and order of the country. Okay? Di ba? Kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng internal security as much as possible, dapat ma-detect na ang possible danger or yung posibleng paglusog class ng of course na mga of course yung mga foreign okay foreign uh, na nag-iisip or uh, tinatawag natin na uh, paglusog so that is internal security intelligence then we have the public safety intelligence ang public safety intelligence of course uh, to the knowledge essential to ensure the protection of lives and of course the property public okay so diba protection of the public yung lives and property, yung welfare, of course, buhay at ari-arian ng uh, tinatawag natin ng public. So that's why it is a public safety intelligence. Ang criminal, nakafocus yan sa crimes and of course, yung offenders ng krimen. Ang internal security intelligence naman, nakafocus yan sa maintenance of peace and order of the state or a particular community. While ang public safety intelligence naman, that is for protection of lives and properties in general welfare, okay? Public safety intelligence. Okay, then of course, we have the forms of intelligence. Okay, ang sociological intelligence and biographical intelligence. Of course, ang sociological, of course, that is the combination of, of course, demographic and psychological aspect of group of people. Okay, so uh, public opinion, attitude of the majority, and the people towards the matter, public policy and education. So, of course, magkaroon ka ng sociological intelligence class. Malalaman mo yon kung in that particular area, ano ba yung pinoproject, yung public opinion, ano ba yung attitude ng majority, para malaman mo, of course, kung uh, paano ka mag-adjust, di ba, when it comes sa public policy. While ang biographical naman, of course, uh, yung personalities and of course, yung actual possession of power. So, yan yung tanatawag natin yung biographical uh, intelligence. Okay? So, depende yan sa tanatawag natin ng individuals, uh, individual personalities. Okay, then of course, we have the armed force intelligence and geographical intelligence. Okay, sa armed force intelligence, it deals with the armed forces of the nation. Of course, yung position ng armed forces, the constitutional and legal basis of its creation and actual role. Of course, yung sa armed forces, of course, iniiwasan natin plus yung terrorism, di ba? Or uh, any other territorial disposition and the uh, military manpower recruitment and of course, the order of the battle. So, of course, that, that's why uh, very, ano kasi, malaki kasi yung role na ginagampanan ng armed forces natin. That's why 
kailangan talaga ng armed forces intelligence natin. And of course, geographical, of course, it affects yung economic and of course, yung, yung altitude, okay? Kung saan na uh, situated yung geographical intelligence ang tao natin. Okay, so again, of course, we have the uh, the kinds of intelligence. We already discussed that kanina. So of course, pag sinabi natin uh, strategic intelligence, of course, that is uh, not immediate in nature. Ang purpose niyan, of course, class for long-range intelligence. Okay, so of course, ang line intelligence naman, of course, it is the kind of intelligence class okay, uh, by commander to provide planning. Of course, sila yung uh, uh, kapag sa intelligence, of course, yung uh, to combat yung counterinsurgency, okay, yung mga possible threats when it comes sa ating uh, economy, sa ating state. Of course, yung uh, ang, uh, information or intelligent information may be determined or magagaling, of course, uh, yung isang factor was the people. Okay, the living condition of the people, uh, ano yung pinanggalingan or sources of income, education of the people, uh, the livelihood. Okay, so it can, it can affect class or it can influence yung tanatawag natin na uh, yung majority. Then, of course, the weather. Okay, cloudy ba? Temperature? O uh, yung temperature ba malamig or mainit? Okay, o windy. Ang enemy naman, of course, that is the uh, location of the, uh, what it calls the enemy, kung saan ba. Okay, so yung uh, capability nila, ano yung kahinaan nila, so that is uh, enemy. Then, of course, ang terrain. Okay, so ayan, uh, uh, yung uh, tinatawag natin na concealment. Okay, yung, uh, yan yung tinatawag natin na terrain class. Okay, and of course, yung mga approaches ng armed forces of the Philippines. Okay, of course, class, ang counterintelligence, of course, ang counterintelligence to, to destroy, di ba? Nas, nasabi ko na kanina, to destroy the effectiveness of the uh, the foreign activities or any other country. Counter, of course, uh, counterintelligence. Of course, ang mga trabaho ng counterintelligence or purpose ng counterintelligence, number one, for the protection of information against espionage. Dapat, Kasi di ba, every country class, meron yan silang intelligence uh, uh, agency, of course, di ba? So para makombat rin kung ano yung pinaplano. Halimbawa, ang Pilipinas, meron na yung intelligence uh, agency para makombat natin kung ano yung pinaplano ng ibang bansa sa atin. Halimbawa, ang China, ang US. So, of course, in the other hand, ang US at China, meron rin silang tinatawag na counterintelligence. Okay, that is for the purpose of uh, information or the uh, protection of information class, okay, against uh, espionage. Okay, so yan. Then, of course, second, protection of personal against subversion and protection of insulation and material against sabotage. Okay, so sabotage. Okay, kasi di ba class in every, uh, in every agency, not just that, uh, hindi lang sa ating bansa, ha? Of course, di ba sa company, okay, meron talaga tayong ini-employ na intelligence. Okay, ano ba? Sa isang company, di ba? Sa isang school. Okay, so sa lahat kayo, faculty, may isa dyan na naka-observe kung ano yung ginagawa ng, ng lahat, di ba? Kung ano yung ginagawa ni ganito, ganyan. Tapos isusumbong. Okay, so yan yung tanatawag na din counter intelligence or intelligence. Okay, so of course, we have the measures in counter intelligence. Okay, it must be both, okay, passive and active. Okay, meron tayong active and passive. Ibig sabihin, continuous yan. Okay. Okay, ang passive measures, class, uh, those measures which seek to conceal, okay, information from the enemy. Okay, so ibig sabihin, uh, of course, class, yung uh, secret, yung pinaka-confidential natin na secret or na information, dapat makonceal. Hindi talaga yan malaman ng kalaban. While yung active measures naman, class, of course, that is, uh, it will seek to actively block the enemy's effort to gain information or to engage in espionage, subversion, or sabotage. Ibig sabihin, yan na yung uh, intelligence in place, di ba, na totally makablock yung effort or hindi maka-access rin yung tanatawag na ng enemy. Pero, of course, that is active one. Okay, ang uh, counterintelligence, also known as... Uh, Negative intelligence, of course, it is a generic term meaning uh, three uh, different things. Okay, yung three different things natin, of course, uh, we have the, uh, the security intelligence, counterintelligence, and counter-espionage. 
Ang um, sa security intelligence of course, diba sinabi natin the sum total efforts, okay, of the country, of course para mapangalagaan class uh, or matuloy yung mga national policies and of course yung mga other uh, military or data or diplomatic decision ng nation natin class of course to avoid or to deny class yung uh, pag-access ng information or an authorized person sa tinatawag natin na possession okay ba para hindi na makuha yung intelligence data so that is the purpose of security intelligence then of course we have the counter intelligence naman okay ang counter of course diba to protect the data okay to protect the data or to destroy yung tinatawag na na intelligence uh, activity ng uh, gustong makapag-access ng ating of course intelligence okay so that is counter intelligence then of course the counter espionage okay ang counter espionage naman of course uh, ang purpose niyan of course to investigate actual or theoretical violence okay violation violation of espionage laws and of course uh, it is a job class tanda niyo ha ang espionage it is a job to catch uh, spies kung sino ba talaga yung Uh, nagpapanggap lang baka nagpapanggap na um, na kasamahan yun pala kalaban of course ang counter espionage is a uh, simple at locating the enemy kung saan yung location or situated yung enemy natin okay to identify the enemy and of course to eventually neutralize ibig sabihin hindi na sila makapag uh, penetrate or hindi na sila makapag of course makapag uh, pin paniminap uh, paniminap makapagbigay or makapag uh, post ng pinsala okay that is a counter espionage okay so uh, we will continue class our discussion tomorrow of course pupunta rin tayo sa another another uh, what they call another topic na naman of course i, i continue natin to sa intelligence and after that proceed tayo on the other area sa part po natin okay so ayan kumain na ba kayo Kumain na. 